In this video, I will show you how to create a QuickBooks online invoice payment form. This service is also referred to as the PFG. This payment form works by adding a Pay Now link to your QuickBooks online invoice emails. This video will show you how to create a QuickBooks invoice-based payment form. You will want to set up the Receipt Manager found in the Settings option on the left menu before you proceed. This info will be used in many of the settings of the payment form. First you will need to log in to your account at www.eprocessingnetwork.com. Click the Web Services from the left menu. Click the Payment Form Generator. Click QuickBooks INV hashtag. First name the payment form. QBO invoice payment for example. This will show in the browser tab. If you have already set up your receipt manager, your logo will show here. If you wish to use another logo, drag and drop the logo you wish to use in the space provided. Click you can customize the form by selecting the colors you want to display here. Background color, button color, text color, and button text color can be changed here. If you like to change the name of the button, you can customize it here. Click you can change the label or leave blank to use the default invoice label. Click you can specify an amount label or leave it as the default. You can skip location settings. Here is a preview of the form. Click Next to continue. If you are using your own website, you can enter the URL for the approval page and the declined page. These pages are used when the customer processes a payment. If the payment is approved, the approval page will show. And if payment is declined, then the declined page will show. This helps keep the payment process look like your website design. This is optional. If you do not specify these URLs, then eProcessing Network default pages will be used. If you have the convenience fee services, you have this option. Enter the label for this fee. Enter the amount and if percentage or whole amount. Service fee is used with a secondary EPN account. If you do not have a separate account to process your transactions fee, you can skip this feature. If you do have a secondary account, enter the label. Select percentage or whole amount and the value of the fee. Enter the secondary account here. If you would like to accept tips, you can enable that feature here. If you are accepting electronic checks, you can specify if you would like to allow checks payments for this invoice page. If you want to allow checks, leave exclude ACH to off. If you would like to make this page a check-only payment option, set only accept ACH2 on. Skip the recurring payment options. Required customer fields ensure that you get the required information. Check the options you want to be required. Optional verbiage allows you to customize your form by adding text to the top or bottom of the page. Optional receipt verbiage can be edited here. It will use what was entered in the receipt manager. But you can change it here. Select the justification of the text. And enter the verbiage. Click Next. Click the copy link URL. Now open QuickBooks Online. Go to Account Settings. Go to Account Settings. Click Sales. Open the Messages section. Select Invoice. For the email message, add the URL with a note to your customer to pay here. Click Save. Open the Reminder section. Modify your reminders to include the URL link. If you do not use reminders, you can skip this step. Click Save.
If you are using Intuit Merchant Services, click Invoice Payments. Turn off both credit cards and checks. Click Save. Now when you email your invoices, the payment link will be included for your customer to pay. Thank you for watching.